Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my um, March book haul. I haven't bought books for quite a while. It seems like a good month. Um, and I got a gift card for my birthday, which is in early March. And I finally went to the bookstore because um, I just felt like I needed some books, even though I haven't read all the ones I got from Christmas yet. Um, so, yeah. Or that I bought, like, previously. When did I get this book? I think I got that for Christmas, but I saved it. Um, so that I could read it in March, kind of like a birthday gift to myself. Um, so it's going to be my March book haul slash my what I want to read in the next month. So kind of March and April because it's like the almost the end of March. It's March 19th today. And um, so yeah, so I kind of want to go into the books I bought today and then um, what I plan to read for the next month. So March and April. Really, I guess. Um, so we'll start with the books I bought today. Um, I had a gift card for my birthday, like I said, and then I also I have the Plum Rewards and the Eye Rewards card. Um, and since I always now use the Eye Rewards card to get like the ten percent off or whatever it is, um, I have like money, like I had like ten dollars saved on my Plum card. So I was like, I'm just gonna use that today and the gift card, and then pay the rest in cash, and that will be done, and I can just have my eye rewards card kind of now and forever so um I didn't go looking in for anything specific I was kind of just like I just want to go find some books it's my day off um I don't want to worry about work although let's be real just got a phone call that no one showed up for their shift so um that didn't help but um I was like yeah I just want to go in and find some books to read because I've kind of been in a lull lately and so I think I got some pretty good books and stuff so um, the first book I picked up is a new one that I'd never heard of, and I was like, it's on like the new fiction and stuff, and I was like, I'm gonna pick that up, and it was the most expensive, but whatever. It is called The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. Um, it's, I think, like an adult contemporary book. It's about this girl named, um, Carolyn, who, um, like, grows up with, she refers to him as father in the synopsis, and that he has, like, a library that he, like, teaches them from about like rules and war and stuff like that it really sounds like she was kidnapped by him and that's what kind of interests me but I'm not positive because she has like other adopted siblings with the father as well and stuff um and it's how about like he is suddenly like gone and so the library is like up for grabs technically and stuff I don't know it seemed really cool and I'm not really sure what it's about but it seems like it's kind of like she was kidnapped. That, that's what I found from the synopsis. I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems like it's like her parents died and then like all of a sudden father was there to save her and stuff. So not really sure about that part, but it seemed really cool. And I kind of like Chris, Chris, crime and mystery novels. Um, so yeah, this was also like $35 for this hardcover. So yay for hardcover books, right? Um, but yeah, it just seemed really cool to read. And then I also love the cover really got to me too. It's a really cool cover. So um, I'm excited to read this. The next book I picked up um, was because I honestly didn't want to read it. I didn't. Um, but I saw the trailer for it and then I was like, I need to read it. So it's Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not really big like fan of like YA romance novels unless they're written really well, like um, Attachments by Rainbow Roll. Um, and then I saw the trailer for it and I was like, I need to read it. So I am looking forward to reading this um, probably pretty soon and crying over it as well, I guess. Um, will I read the, the sequel to this? Probably not. My friends is really bad, but um, I'm excited to read this book, and I think everyone knows what it's about, really. So it's about like the girl who Lou, who um, starts like taking care of Will, who's in a um, a wheelchair and stuff, and I think they fall in love and all that stuff. So all that good stuff. Um, this is like the last book on the shelf. So I'm happy I got it. Um, it's Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard, um, which is the sequel to. Um, Red Queen, and it was only $15 for hardcover, so I'm really happy about that, um, and I need to kind of reread the last couple chapters of Red Queen, because I kind of don't really remember what happens, um, but I'm looking forward to reading it. I liked it a good amount that I'm kind of interested to see what happens, um, in the book, and I just can't really leave a series unfinished, you know, so, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it. It didn't, I know her brother comes back. 
but it didn't really explain in the synopsis on her brother's coming back. So I don't know what's going on with that part. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to read it. Um, for fifteen dollars, really good. I probably should have stopped there in terms of buying stuff, but I was like, I just feel like I'm not done yet because I could whip through Glass Sword and uh, Me Before You in no time. So I really want another like, you know, either like a good series to start or a new like crime novel or something like that. Um, so I went to the like adult fiction section and I picked up this one. I've walked by it so many times in my previous um like trips to chapters, and then I always pick it up and read the synopsis, and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna read it this time. And then I was like, yeah, go read it. And it is called The Dinner by Herman Kochkok. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the last name. And it's about this these two couples who have a dinner together, and they're both like family friends. And um, they have the whole story, but like their conversation throughout dinner. And each chapter it looks like it's like oh over the course of the appetizer, over the course of the main course, and stuff like that. Um, but the um, topic that gets them the most is that they're they both have teenage sons the same age. And, um, it says that, um, the two boys are united by their accountability for a single horrific act, an act that has triggered a police investigation and shattered the comfortable, insulated worlds of their families. As the dinner reaches its culinary climax, the conversation finally touches on their children, and as civ civility and friendship disintegrate, disintegrate, goodness, each couple shows just how far they are prepared to go to protect those they love. So, um, it seems like the boys probably committed, I would say, a school shooting. And, um, I would think that the families put the blame on each other and stuff. But that seems really cool because I love books that have good conversation in them. Um, that's my favorite type of, like, I guess, part in a book is, like, when people talk to each other, like, the conversation. And it's, like, the whole, like, interaction with combos. So, yeah, those are my books that I hold. Um, but let's go to the ones that I plan to read in the next month. First off, I don't have it with me because it's in my purse, but I plan on finishing Big Girl, um, which is a, like, memoir, um, for, I think her name's Kelsey, and I just haven't just been reading it lately. I just been putting it on the backside because I've been really into watching TV lately. I don't know, all the TV's, like, ending and stuff, like, it seems like it is How to Get Away with Murder and Team Wolf I need to finish watching. And I've been, like, catching up with Project One Way, so I've been not reading. So I really want to finish that book, because it is really good. I, like, read, like, 50 pages last night, which doesn't seem like a lot. But during my break at work and stuff, so I really want to still read that book. Um, I also want to read Ice Like Fire by Sarah Roche, um, which is a sequel to Snow Like Ashes, which was recommended from a booktuber here on YouTube, but I just was like, I'm just gonna read it. And it's really good. So, again, kind of, like... All the other YA novels. Um, it's in like a medieval-y, castle-y era. <laughs> and um, the Winters finally have like, know that Mira is connection to the throne and stuff. And she's going to find the power to reunite them. I honestly don't remember how to describe it. But it seems so cool. And... I like the whole maybe love aspect between her and the guy from Autumn, not her best friend. I don't really like that whole trope, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading this. So this and Diet, I, Diet, Big Girl is what I really want to finish. And then the next one I'll probably read is Me Before You, let's be real. I just want to read it, skim through it, see what the movie happens and stuff like that. So those are the three books I'm prioritizing over everything else um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna eat some food and worry about work yeah that is my life now so um i will see you all later and have a wonderful march weekend yay bye